Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. And in today's quick video, we are gonna show you some super cool things you can do with the different align tools in Maya. I think these are some of the, these tools get overlooked sometimes. And yeah. I think there are a lot of really cool ways to align different objects to each other within Maya. This is something you do quite a lot just from a general modeling. Like if you're doing environment modeling mm -hmm. or like prop modeling, if you need have like a thousand bolts you have to place on yeah. different places. So you can find all this under modify and then here under the little align menu. Mm. So the first one we want to show is aligning stuff to maybe like a flat surface or something. It doesn't have to be flat, but this is just a really good example for it. So if we go to the snap together tool, this tool allows us to select points on two meshes mm. and you just hit enter and it's aligned to it. Super cool tool. So we can do that and then align that to there. And then you sort of like, now you've aligned that you can also do it like if you select different parts of it. Like let's say we select the bottom to the top and then align that. Now it's going to align perfectly right there. Oh, that's some. Um, <laughs> let's do not do motion blur. <laughs> let's do AO instead. There we go. Um, so that's a really handy tool for just quickly placing objects on other objects. Mm. So another one which is cool is the point to point snap, which you find under snap align and point to point. So here we have two vague shapes of, I don't know, maybe a trunk or something. Two, two nondescriptive shapes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what you can do is you can take a, a select a point on this and a point on this and snap them together. So if you go into vertex mode, oh, I cheated. I already <laughs> selected one. So oh, select that point. Cheater. <laughs> and then, oh, I already selected one here as well. <laughs> so go under a line, snap line, and then point to point. It's just going to snap those two points together. Yeah. Super simple. Now, the issue here is that let's say we have multiple objects that are exactly the same but they're different points in 3D space and they've, let's see, they've had their transforms frozen. So one thing you would do is maybe you would move it over manually and you would try and rotate until you get there. It's a real pain in the ass to do. Pain in the ass. So you have another option, which is two points to two points. Now two points to two points obviously is a little more versatile than point to point, mm. but it can only do two axes. Yeah. So if I've, uh, let's say I've duplicated this, non-descriptive shape and I've done this, then aligning two sh two points to two points is fine. But let me show you what happens if I do two points on this. So again, we cheated a little bit. Yeah, it's really hard to actually know which points are the same points. Yeah. So we just little made a little material on it. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've selected the two same points on this non-descriptive shape. And I do two points to two points and you can see it's almost there. Yeah. It's tried its best, but it's missing one axis to sort of really figure out. Okay. It just doesn't have enough information to do them. No. So we'll do this, this, and this. And on this one, we'll do this. You're this, never going to know, know guess what tool we're going to show now. Three points to three points. <laughs> oh, and it looked like it disappeared, but that's because it's now on top of the other one. Ta-da. So a quick note about selection I just realized is that, so I have two objects selected at the same time. It's like you just go into vertex mode with one, and then you can go into vertex mm, mode on yeah. another as well. Just a quick little note there. Yeah. So you need three points in order to true get a true representation of this. Mm, mm. This is this is a tool I'm used uh, sometimes if it's extremely annoying. Let's say you have a decimated version in, in ZBrush, which has been rotated around because ZBrush does weird shit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So your model is rotated around, it's off axis, and everything is just off the rails here. <laughs> and uh, you, want, you need to align these two. So now you can just take... You, you have the master in, in Maya and you have like a super ghetto one in uh, ZBrush. You can mm. now just align the same points and now the model will actually align. The, the, the other way to do this is to do it by hand and that is miserable. So this this feature here where you are actually aligning them is super helpful. Like what you could do, let's just uh, go off the rails here a little bit, is let's pretend this is now our decimated version, right? Mm. And uh, we can then take our decimated version and which one is it? Is it that one? And then parent it under the original version. And we just hide that one. This is our nice one, mm. which has the same position. And then we can just then we can just go ahead and do it again. So we select these three points. We would then select these three points. Let's see if this works. If it does the group, it should do. And modify align three points to three points. Now, if we unhide this, there we go. And through magic. Through magic. This works. Like a magic. <laughs> so there you go. So that's that's another use case for it, which yeah. is really nice. 
Yeah. Well, that was lucky that worked. <laughs> <laughs> um, Phew. <laughs> so let's find the other one again. Let's just reset those transforms. Okay. So the next one is the snap align objects or align objects under snap align. So mm. let's get rid of that again. Let's duck, undug this. So the snap align align objects is a really quick way to align multiple objects together. So it just takes all the other complicated stuff out of the equation. So here, you see we've changed the settings a little bit. So by default, it just says selection average. So if you select two objects, it's just gonna, they're just gonna yeah. meet in the middle. Oh. Which might be nice in some cases, but mm -hmm. I, I'm a bit confused as to why that's the default behavior. Yeah. Because I, norm I normally want to align this point to this point. I don't yeah. care so much about the average. So for here, you could select this and it says align to last selected object. Let's do that instead. And then just apply. So this does the mid, if you select that, that does the max. And so you get some, you get different behaviors depending on um, the kind of stuff you're choosing. And then you can enable world Y, world Y and world Z, and then that would align the yeah. two objects together. So really quick to just align things. So this obviously doesn't work in rotation all that. This is purely like a transform thing. Yeah, yeah. If you want to truly align them, you've got to do the 3.1. So another also powerful one is the align tool mm. where we select so select one object, then you have to shift select the other object, and now you get this fancy bounding box. Yeah, this takes some time getting used to just what this series is about. And every single time I use this, I just click frantically and <laughs> I see what it does. So let me see if I can figure this out. So here we have from between these two, the center of the other one, right? So yeah. this aligns it to that center. Then you can rotate over here and align to that center. Yeah. So then you have the same thing with the min and max thing yeah. here, but I usually just use the align, align to align to center. So this yeah. is all dependent on the selection order. So yeah. if we were to go uh, align tool the other way, we would align to this object instead. So it makes it real quick to also do sort of interactive um, yeah. alignment. And the last one is the ghetto method, <laughs> which is what we use most of the time. <laughs> yes. But if you just want a real quick selection, so let's say um, we want to select. Uh, we want to align this to this object and let's pretend the pivot is somewhere in here. But we want to align a point to another point. Yeah. What you can do is you hold down the D key, um, then you can select whatever, like a face or it can be a vertex like that. And now you can see now the pivot is aligned to that vertex. I use this button all the time. D yeah. for, uh, D for move, uh, move the pivot. Yeah. It's one of the most useful ones in Maya. And then afterward you hold down the V key, V for Vendetta? V for vertex. V for vertex, yeah. <laughs> and then, or vendetta. <laughs> and then you can just simply drag that over to a point here. Now our little handy tip is if you hold down V and then you just click and hold down the middle mouse button, it just goes over there. There you go. So just Oh, that was that was D. So with V and the middle mouse button, that's usually how I align it because then I don't have to drag yeah. it all the way over from here. Obviously this is not like uh, super handy in terms of aligning two objects perfectly together, but it just it's really quick. Like it's super quick. The way the, the way I learn use this is most of the time my stuff isn't really rotated into oblivion. Like here, we taken and deliberately rotated in the frozen mm. transforms. Most of the time, it's just stuff is just kind of moved. Like it would be like these two, like two of these cylinders here together. The only difference here is that they have been moved. Yeah, so like here. I yeah, exactly. Really this so, so it's just super quick to just align these two together. This is a more real world example instead of a nondescript shape, which has been rotated in crazy ways. <laughs> yeah, you can do this even if you don't align a point. You know, mm. I just reset the pivot to this here. So you can just hold down the V key again and then it just takes the average yeah. point of this and aligns it. I actually use this a lot if you just go to that one. Yeah. So uh, w let's say you want to cut away like a shape of that, like a boolean of that. Mm. I would just I would just use uh, hold on the V key and just snap it to this, and you can do like a boolean. Or if you don't use booleans because they're terrible, <laughs> uh, you could just like manually cut it out using yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. multi cut tool, which is a really handy way of doing it. Because now you know that this this cylinder here is exactly yeah, on the corner of it's it. It's super nice if you want to. This is something I've done before where if I wanted to align an object. Yeah. I make something in the center of my object like this. And then I would just align this. Yeah. Let's get it in there. There you go. Yeah. So if you want to make a hole now, which is going through the entire thing, you could boolean it, or you could just like cut her out. You can see it's right in the center. Yeah. So. So pretty handy stuff. So with all these uh, align tools, uh, the <laughs> one we use the most is the ghetto one. The ghetto <laughs> one, yeah. Just hold down the V key. Boop, 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 boop.
Minimum of one. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.